Meanwhile, Donald Trump is trying to win over disenfranchised Democrats. Trump hoping his message on trade will appeal to those Bernie backers, to Trump surrogate uh, Boris Epstein and former South Carolina Democratic Governor Jim Hodges on if Trump's message uh, will actually lure Bernie backers. Boris, uh, we know that there are some similarities, particularly when it came to trade, uh, between Donald Trump and, and Bernie Sanders. But Bernie Sanders has been pounding away over the weekend and again yesterday, over and over, imploring his supporters, do not give your vote to Donald Trump. Why should they? It's not about Bernie Sanders anymore, and you're hearing a lot of those Bernie Sanders supporters say that. It's about the movement that they believed in so much, about them being disenfranchised by the Clintons. And it's about issues like trade. You know, America's lost 700,000 jobs because of NAFTA. The TPP would cost millions of jobs. And Donald Trump is by far, by far the strongest candidate on jobs. We all know that Hillary Clinton is really in favor of the TPP. So those supporters that did vote for Bernie Sanders in the primaries are not controlled by Bernie Sanders. He's just one. 74-year-old senator. They are their own people. They're not going to be listening to Bernie Sanders. Now they're going to be listening to Donald Trump and coming out for him in droves because of the messages on national security, on trade, on the economy. So far, Governor Hodges, I haven't seen evidence that they're going to go for Trump in droves. What I, what I have seen is that more and more of them are saying they won't vote for Hillary. Hillary and it feels like that enthusiasm gap she was hoping to fill with those Bernie supporters may go unfilled. Well, let's see where we are Thursday. Uh, the truth is that last night was Bernie's night. I thought he did a fabulous job. Michelle Obama was terrific. But you're going to begin to see the turn this week. And I think by the end of the week, you will see that Sanders supporters embrace Hillary Clinton. Governor, what will I mean, do the, the, the trick? What will do the trick for them? Because Boris is right. Yesterday, they were boisterous. They were upset. They were emotional. They were crying. And they seem pretty adamant about their position right now. What's going to change that in 48, 72 hours? Well, I already saw it this morning. I spoke to two delegations, and, and there was a much different attitude this morning than there was yesterday. I think the reality is that they're scared of Donald Trump. Uh, they're scared of what he would do to the country. They don't believe that he will fight for working people in our country. And that, in and of itself, is a reason that Sanders voters will turn to Hillary Clinton. Uh, there's a much better chance to get the Sanders agenda passed with Hillary Clinton than there is with Donald Trump, and the voters know that. You know, Boris, on that Absolutely. note, outside of trade, uh, what are some of the other similarities? Because, you know, when you hear Bernie Sanders uh, talk about it, uh, they're the exact opposite on a, whole, a slew of other issues that are very near and dear to progressives. Donald Trump is not going to become Bernie Sanders overnight. He's not going to pander to those voters like Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine are pandering to Hispanics, for example, by Tim Kaine speaking Spanish based on a trip he took 35 years ago. What Donald Trump is doing is he's attracting those voters. He's reaching out to those voters and saying, I'm the only person you can actually trust to create jobs. He's the only one who's ever created jobs between the Republicans and the Democrats. Him and Mike Pence are the only people who've created jobs. When Tim Kaine became governor, unemployment was under three or four. When he left, it was over seven. So a four-point raise in, a rise in unemployment for Governor Pence was a four-point decrease in unemployment in Indiana. So a very stark contrast. Hillary Clinton has never had a job in her life that she got on her own merit. She has never right. really worked in the in private sector. She has never created jobs. She's only failed. She's failed the VA. She's failed the Secretary of State. And now she wants to get the top job because of her failures. So it's like a JV quarterback who only throws interceptions. I think that they're going to get put on varsity. That's just simply not going to happen. Boris Epstein, Governor Hodges, thank you both very much. Really appreciate it. Thanks. Hey,